my personal uh, recollections are, I'm a young boy, my dad's playing hockey before he got into coaching with the Lloydminster Border Kings and then with the, in Melfort where a lot of his playing career was. And when I think of dad, I always think of this transition from being the tough guy to the teacher. Because as he finished his playing career, in his playing career, he was the tough guy. And he certainly um, won more than he lost. And, and it was in an era in the 60s and 70s that I was a big part of the game. But immediately we became the coach. He was very focused on teaching and on the skills. Certainly he coached me and a lot of the, a lot of the boys, but he really made a mark in women's hockey. Went at a time when women's hockey was not a big deal in the, in the early 70s. Uh, across Canada and really his teams just had a lot of success there, coached some uh, really uh, incredible people um, and uh, some of them, one might be sitting beside me uh, as well as uh, a bunch of others uh, from Haley Wickenheiser and others uh, through the years. And then really though, capping off his career, uh, coaching the Lloydminster Border Kings to an Allen Cup victory. We were likely the first generation of girls to play hockey like boys. And Bill's coaching and enthusiasm led us to be able to play at a level in a short time that most women and girls didn't have an opportunity to because they didn't have the same support for the game. We were age 12 to 25 and we played full contact hockey. I was um, eight years old when I started. We played in the first women's nationals in 1982, which was still full contact. So we were 12 year olds playing against women and university people in full contact hockey. Imagine our parents watching. And Bill taught us those skills the same as he would have taught an NHL player, I'm sure. Checking, skating, stick skills. We just played hard and we loved it. Because we didn't have other girls teams to play against for practice, we played against boys teams and men's teams. In particular, when you were playing peewee or bantam boys teams who were similar ages to you and they knew they were playing a girls team, they wanted to go for it. And because it was full checking, it became pretty tough sometimes. And one boy in particular really took me out in the corner one time and his name was Thon. Oh, I don't remember that. I don't well, think. it yeah. happened. Well, I do actually. <laughs> and I think I had the better check. No, uh, no you did. <laughs> In 2005, Bill organized our team to enter into the World Masters Games in Edmonton. And it was an incredible experience because we walked into the dressing room and there was women in there that we hadn't seen for 20 years and it was like we'd never been away. Um, we won the gold medal against the Edmonton Chimos who were our arch nemesis over all of the years that we played, all of them. And it was an incredible, incredible experience. If you want to watch the game, buy a ticket and sit in the stands with everybody else. If you're going to be laying on the ice, you better be dead. Bill Thon played minor hockey in Saskatoon starting in 1950 and then senior hockey until 1970. It was then that he founded the Malford Missilettes, the first female hockey team in the area. In 1981, he founded the Maidstone Saskies female hockey program, winning provincial championships from 1981 to 91, as well as silver and bronze medals at national tournaments. Bill Thon retired from coaching in 2012 after an impressive 62 years in hockey.